I'm Shannon Mustafer, an award-winning mixologist, educator, and author. Like a confession booth, the bar is a place for all walks of life to come in and share their stories. So today, I'll be sitting down with innovative creators to turn their journeys into classic Grand Marnier cocktails with a unique twist on a tradition. Yo, Otis, what's good, man? Shannon. How are you? What's up? It's been a minute. Good to see you. Good to see you. Tell us about your music and, you know, what brought you here. Yeah, well, I'm Otis Kane. I am a writer, producer, artist, play instruments, I mix, I do the whole thing. I've, I've been doing this for a very, very long time. Now, tell me a little bit about your background and your heritage. My dad's side of the family, full Mexican. Uh, my mom's side is Jamaican. I'm very shaped by American culture, but I do have, you know, that blood running through my veins. How would you describe your style, your flavor? Like, what, what kind of music do you do? I would say that my music is very funk, soul, pop, R&B. Obviously, one of my biggest influences is Stevie, Sam Cooke, you know, those guys. Love songs are a big part of the R&B genre. How do you draw inspiration from that to create like a new twist on mm. it for the listener today? Love songs are very important to me and making love songs in today's world is pushing the culture forward because black artists aren't usually shown in that light. You know, the, the music that is promoted the most heavily isn't promoting black love. And I think what's really important about what I'm doing is being the voice for that. I'm curious, is there like a particular moment or a story when you had that light bulb moment? You're like, it's time to start building Otis. I was kind of burnt out on, on creating careers for artists when I knew I wanted to create one for myself. You know, I've always wanted to use my voice. It was August 2020 when I released my first song and I wasn't doing sessions with other artists. So I had already made the decision to not produce, but now there was no turning back. You got started in your own direction. When did you start to see it as paying off? Like when did you start to see signs hmm. that you were succeeding in making it as an artist? One thing that made me feel like this is going where it needs to go is I started to get a lot of playlists on different streaming platforms. And that that is kind of the first step for an independent artist because that's the hardest thing to achieve in this industry. From a kind of big picture point of view, what does success look like for Otis Kane? As long as I'm happy doing what I'm doing, that's you know, success. Messages about this resonate with me. I sent this to my X, I sent this to my wife, I played this at my wedding, I love this song, I love the message. So all these things are reinforcement that what I'm doing is touching people and bringing light to people. Now on to the drink mm. and what you're into. My style, as you know, is rooted in classic cocktails with a little bit of a Caribbean and a tropical flair. I'm an old school Southern girl, but I like to explore global flavors as well. I think I have something in mind for you. Okay. So just sit tight. Okay. I'm gonna put it together for you and then we'll see what you think. Amazing, I'm excited. Before we go into the drink, I wanna sample you on the star. This is Grand Marnier, a blend of cognac and orange liqueur. Wonderful way to elevate any classic cocktail. Mm. Have a taste. Now, the thing I find really wonderful about mm. this, mm. oh, you're saying it all. Mm. So I definitely taste the vanilla. I taste the the hints of orange. I know it's orange liqueur, but it just, it's hidden in there. It's not overwhelming. I love it. It's basically gonna amplify all the other flavors that I'm gonna add to this spin on a margarita that I'm calling the Florida Jamaica. Let me stop talking and start pouring here. So okay. I'm gonna make one for myself as well. I'm gonna start off with fresh lime juice. Mm. Now next, I made a custom syrup for you based on the dried hibiscus. Wanna add some tequila. Tequila, yeah. Yeah, I'm using a Blanco. Something really light. 
clean, just like the classic. Mm. Now next we got the star, the Grand Marnier. Mm. Gonna get a little more citrus here and I would say this is kind of the thing that's gonna pump up the volume on all the other elements here. Ah, oh, that looks so good. So this is my love song to you. Oh. And to the margarita. Yes. For the Yameka. I hope that this drink is like a fitting way to celebrate, All right. you know, your transition into making your own path as an artist. Okay, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. That is excellent. Can we call it the Grand Otis Kane? I like Grand Otis Kane. Grand okay, Otis that has Kane. a musical Cheers. ring to it. All right. You came to the right place. Thank you, Shannon. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.